So with this camera, there's dust on the outside of the lens, but also dust on the inside. And the question is how to clean that. Well, the manufacturer doesn't provide any directions for how to do that. I'm going to show what I did. Step one, you got to zoom it all the way out. And then simply remove the battery so that the lens stays in position. Next, I have to very carefully remove this cover and it's secured by some adhesive. It's uh, kind of easier said than done to remove it. Uh, being very careful not to damage the lens mechanism. And there it goes. And you want to be careful not to uh, mess up these. They can fall out and they're kind of a pain in the neck to reassemble but it can be done uh, because I had to do it. So here's the scary part that I had to do the last time I cleaned this lens. Had to drill a hole in the side here and another hole on the other side and you can see there's a little hole right here because uh, as I was drilling the drill stopped and I realized it was hitting against the side of the lens so this is a kind of a precarious thing to do uh, because you could damage or destroy the lens and while you're doing it you got to hold a vacuum cleaner up to it to suck up the chips because they're kind of hard to get out of there once they're inside the lens assembly. Camera lenses are called coated optics. They have a special coating on them and you can damage it if you don't use a proper lens cleaner for the purpose of coated optics and you want to use a one of these microfiber cloths. Don't use paper towels or other materials. And I also have these microfiber Q-tips. These are not regular cotton Q-tips cotton q-tips have a lot of lint and they make a mess so I'm gonna put some lens cleaner on this fiber swab here now this is what those holes are for and you get right right underneath there and I've also got to get down onto the surface of that other lens that's in there it's kind of hard to see well, I did find I could lower the lens a little bit and you can actually see a little bit better where that inner lens is Okay, well it's a bit cleaner than it was. There's still some little pieces of debris, so I might have to go back in and touch it up. But uh, that's the only way I know of to clean the inside of the lens on these cameras. Now let's say you did screw up, and you can see these these are just hooked into that pin there, and you you know they all fell out. It's a little tricky if you you accidentally remove that thing too aggressively they come out real easily but sometimes if you're deliberately trying to do something it doesn't work as well also know that these pieces are the same on both sides there's different pieces but both sides are the same assembly so if we look at the top we can see that this is the same as the one that's on top here. You gotta look closely at the notch patterns. And also from the side profile, you see it has these three tabs sticking up like that. This piece is second from top. And you can see it has a uh, kind of a little hook right there so I've got the top and second from top on top of each other and you can see how that's assembled 
And then we have the third from top, and you see it has this this little metal hook that goes in inside like that. Let's see the stacked up view. You also notice there's a silver side and a black side. So all the black sides face up. So there's all four blades stacked up on top of each other. Now you can see what part of the first blade that that spring is hooked on to. And you can see that this pin goes into the hole in the camera right there. Now to get that first blade to stay in place like this, you got to get it down all the way just right it's not real easy to do and the second blade as you recall has this hook and that has to actually go into this blade it's actually kind of hard to do Now you can see here how I got it in. And you gotta get that hole of the blade onto the pin. Now you can see the second blade installed. The third blade is not quite as hard to do, it just sits on top like that. Might actually be easier to see with a lighter background. And now I will place the final blade. And that's how it looks. So these blades should be flat with the rest of the lens assembly. If you do this incorrectly and then try to close the lens up, you might destroy the lens mechanism. So now the cover goes back on. A little tricky, but it's lined up right. Press it firmly, but not so hard that you damage the lens mechanism. And it should be good to go. So when you put the cover back on, the part that says Canon Zoom Lens 40X in this case, that goes to the top. This cover is keyed. So you can't fit it in upside down. And the mechanism is working fine. If this video saved your life, or at least helped you out, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to the channel.